Hello, this is Mrs. Lamar. Let's look at how to make the text get read out loud to you. We call that a text to speech reader. This is lesson two. I can see that at the top from the drop down my, uh, bar on how to navigate through uh, Florida virtual schools. So I'm on lesson two, how to navigate. So I want to look at my page. I'm going to scroll quickly up and down. It says, it gives me some information, but we are going to have this read out loud. It talks about a speech tool. Down at the bottom is a printable page that talks about all the tools, but it misses one. So in order to have a page read out loud, I scroll to the top green bar. If I hover for a moment, it tells me what the bar does. I'm going to click on it. On the right hand side is a menu bar. When I look, I can't seem to move it, but if I grab the arrows at the bottom, and look at it, I'm going to move it right over this person, right next to this person. This little hand says I can move it left and right, up and down, and then if I want to reset it, that means, oops, I have no, I did not have it where I wanted, I can click the green, the second tab up, and shift it. So now, let's look at what this tool does for me. If I want, I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. If I want to have something read, a section of it read, I can click. Reading can be hard. It takes time and effort to build your reading skill. So what this button, the hand button says, if you were on a page in the book, you put your finger on it and say, read this part. It will read that section and then continue reading on until I click the pause button. I can also choose to shift the text my mouse to speech there. reading tool will read the text I'm going to go up to the word find I'm going to click your way around continued I can pause text to speech readers Oops. reading can be hot I there you go if as long as I have the little red circle on the click to speech it's saying where do you want to click and read and then it reads from that point on I'm going to deselect and that's the term for it click on it again and now notice the little circle is gone the target if I just click the play button. Reading can be hard. It takes time and effort to build your reading skills. We know there will be times. So we know there will be time. I'm going to pause and say, gosh, that person's reading so fast or so slow, it's hard for me to understand. The gear, which is our, uh, our settings button, if I click on that, I can slow my speech down. Let's see. Times when you need help reading your course content. This oh, is why I kind of like that. Built in I'm going to pause, go back to my gear. I can increase the speed so it's fast. Text to speech reading tool in your course. The text to speech reading tool will read. So I can go and change, and really, medium is pretty good. I can change the text, I can have it click. Or if I want to, I can have it hover. I want to save that. So I have settings where I can change the speed, the background color, and other elements. Make it easier for me. So I now know play. I can pause. I can stop. Well, let's take this word read. If I highlight a word, so I'm going to say I know I wanted it to stop. If I take the word read and I click the picture glossary it's gonna give me a picture that represents that word. Sometimes that's a, a helpful item if you're not sure of a word. Not every word is in here, so I'm gonna take the word course. Let's see if that is in the picture dictionary. Ah, so a course is a class that you can take. Sometimes the meaning of a course is the direction of a river, but we know we're talking about a class. So I can also go into a dictionary this dictionary is going to give me pretty advanced definitions. and I can see, oh my goodness, for the word course, there is one, two, three. I can keep scrolling four or five. There are six, seven, eight. There's over 10 definitions of course. But I can see Down. lessons or lectures on a specific subject. I learned a lot on that. If I click that arrow, it actually reads that one definition out loud to me. So I now have the dictionary tool. I have to highlight the word. So if I highlight the word tool, 
I go to dictionary. If I want it read. A piece of equipment that you use in your noun. So a I'm just going to close the dictionary to stop it. So therefore, we can see our tools. If I want my tools to disappear, I go back up to the top to that speech bubble. I click on it. It's disappeared. If I click on it again, I see my tools. And I can reset it to the side of my bar. We have some pretty amazing read out loud, read aloud tools available. Experiment with it. Find how to use it if you need it, when you need it. Thank you so much.